Breaking news today about your second stimulus check. Three major breaking developments. One, a new report says that an emergency addition to the continuing resolution, the federal budget bill that's due December 11th, will include not one, but four provisions for second stimulus, including the FBUC and stimulus check. Meantime, calls believe, underway believe, that Janet Yellen on Monday will suggest stimulus in a way that's different than Nancy Pelosi. Then, economic numbers are in for Black Friday yesterday, and the numbers are shocking, both online and retail, shocking developments. I detailed the online earlier today on Mornings LA, but now I have for the first time this afternoon, minutes ago, the details for what happened in the stores. It impacts your stimulus check. Additionally, $2,400 if you're on SSI and SSDI and Social Security and Real World Benefits. Will that be in the December 11th proposal? And more viewers continue to get big money. This is grant money. This is free money. $2,400? No. $20,000. Viewers last night, half a dozen. No, correction, one dozen in the live Purple Power live chat said that they got anywhere from $100 to $20,000 because of this channel in less than 24 hours, and you should be next. If you've not joined me, because this is Breaking Developments just minutes ago, on Saturday afternoons LL8. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. I'm so glad you joined me on a breaking development with breaking details across the board for stimulus and what's going on next week. This is total new news coming on a Saturday. No one would see so much news normally on a Saturday, except talking heads on morning talk shows. But this is breaking all across the board. So I have three major new developments you're going to hear only on this channel. And boy, your eyes and mouth are going to sort of wake up because mine did when I heard this news. If you've not subscribed, please do, because despite what this news is going to tell you, I'm getting viewers thousands of dollars within 24 hours. This news that I'm about to tell you does not put a stimulus check in your hand in the next 24 hours. What does is what I'm doing with this channel. Getting viewers CARES Act 1 money, Escalated Benefits, and EIDL within 24 hours, and it's absolutely incredible. Thousands of dollars should be yours and should be in your bank account. This is rent, utilities, and food. I'm getting people money not five days from now, not five weeks from now, but right now. Please subscribe because this is a community of people helping each other. It was initially myself, then it was four volunteers, then it was seven, and now we're approaching nine volunteers to ensure that you get this money because it's not going to be around much longer. You need to move quickly, subscribe to this channel, and follow what I'm going to detail in this video. Also, like this video. Meantime, it, it helps in the rankings. <laughs> There's a reason why you like the video. Helps in the rankings. In this video, I will be going over the three breaking developments of news today on stimulus and stimulus checks. First, that new report out of Wall Street that says that they're going to be trying to put stimulus into continuing resolution. What does this mean? And what is the continuing resolution? And what are the deal provisions? And how much would the stimulus check be? And would it be F retroactive FPUC? And is it really $250 of FPUC? Boy, <laughs> then I'm going to be turning to Janet Yellen. What's she going to be doing on Monday? Third, I'll be going to uh, the stores, not only in this recording, but I will be going to what happened in the stores. I now have the numbers out from Black Friday retail in stores and it's going to shock you. It's absolutely going to shock you. Then I'll be turning to $2,400 SSI and SSDI. And finally, getting you money. A lot of stuff to get to. And please stay with me because it's going to be a big recording. A lot of details. Stay with me to the very end. And I have some more surprises along the way. Let's get to the breaking news. The breaking news is that numbers are out minutes ago from Black Friday. And this is Black Friday in the stores. Black Friday in the stores was a bomb. It was down 
over 50%. I thought it was going to be down 70, 80%. Viewers of the channel said that they saw stores completely empty. I saw stores completely empty. Viewers said that they were let, told to go home and they worked at major box, major big box retails and were sent, sent home early because there was no one in the stores. I saw stores completely empty. Broadcast news across LA said stores were completely empty. But the initial analytics reports, which are always skewed and may not be completely accurate, said that big box retailers may have lost 50% of their year-to-date numbers compared to 2019. A horrible downslide. Now, this morning on Mornings LA, I told you that online Black Friday, yesterday's online sales, were the second highest in U.S. history that were reportedly up anywhere between 22 to 30 percent based upon report by uh, Adobe Analytics. It's shocking. The second highest reported daily Black, uh, Black Friday online sales in U.S. history. So with that data, I'm, I'm a little bit more... Um, um, at ease because I was concerned that huge online sale numbers may cause some Republicans who don't want to give you stimulus say, hey, we're just doing really well. And this comes after great news last week that new housing starts are way up, up 75% year to date. I mean, it's just absolutely killing it. Meantime, Wall Street's doing well and certain stocks are doing well. But you know that Main Street America is not doing well and that the jobless claims number on Wednesday was bad. Now, let's turn to that new report out today. And the new report is not tied to Black Friday. The new report just happened to come out today. And it says that it's likely, highly likely, that a second stimulus deal will be hatched in the continuing resolution federal budget bill. What is this bill, first of all? If you've been with this channel for a while, and congratulations to this channel for a seventh month anniversary as of April twenty, as of uh, November 25th, started on April 25th, uh, 333,000 subscribers, so thank you for the run uh, and the ride. And I'm not going anywhere, by the way. Some people can say, are you going somewhere? I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Maybe the casino, but that's about it. Uh, the report says that the continuing resolution bill may include stimulus. The continuing resolution bill is done every few months. It's basically the bill that that uh, that pays for the federal government to continue to operate. And that bill generally has nothing in it except just basic boilerplate, boilerplate stuff, you know, the same thing over and over again. The last time we visited this, Nancy Pelosi and Steve Mnuchin agreed that it was a clean CR, meaning there was nothing extra in it. There would be no stimulus in it. Stimulus would stand alone. <laughs> Needless to say, stimulus did not stand alone. Stimulus stood nowhere. There was no stimulus package. This time around, there's a report that says stimulus will go in this because this has a deadline and this is the only way to really get stimulus out there. And who may do it? The Republicans. And what will be the deal provisions? Stimulus check. How much? Don't expect a $20,000 stimulus check. Um, don't expect anything more than twelve hundred dollars. I'm going to say if they do put it into the CR, Republicans have been cheap with a stimulus check, and this is an emergency provision. This is not a stimulus package; it's an emergency, it's an emergency provision. I understand it should be more than twelve hundred dollars, but I don't expect it to be more than twelve hundred dollars if it's in the CR. Next, FPC, get ready for this one: two fifty to four hundred and as low as 225 a week, FPC. Viewers ask me, is that retroactive? The report says it would be retroactive to September. I don't know how the report is coming up with this data. I have absolutely no idea how this report claims this data exists, but the Problem Solvers Bill, retroactive to September, Nancy Pelosi, Steve Mnuchin, their last proposals are retroactive to late, to late December. My bigger concern is how long is UI and PUA going to be extended because they're expiring December. And in some states, I'm getting emails from people in Kentucky and certain states that their unemployment weeks have been stopped in their state. They're not doing additional weeks. So how long are they going to extend UI and PUA, you know, because they're about to expire or have expired? January, February, not clear. So I haven't mentioned in this article. The article also says that that a series of things that don't cost anything would be included. Student loan repayment put on hold, mortgage forbearance continued, and, and, uh, and eviction moratorium continued. That's all really good news. Now, the report claims that the Democrats would never agree to this and that will hold their gun for $600 a week. Uh, 
that's deeply problematic because I gotta tell you why. One, no one is gonna give these people $600 a week. Two, the Republicans are in control of the Senate as we sit here today. That two, those two Georgia Senate seats in, 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 uh, in January 5th that are up for election, that's January 5th. We're here in November. The Republicans control the Senate. So the Republicans can basically say, hey, do it this way or I'm shutting down the government. So will the gov do Republicans shut down the government because the Democrats don't want to do $250 to $400 a week? As one viewer kindly said, you know, some money is better than no money. And ultimately, I got to tell you, you can't have UI and PUA expire. You can't have UA and PUA expire. I'm not talking about FPUC. I'm just talking about UI and PUA. And if the Republicans say, you know what? I'll give you $300 a week, UA and PUA ex uh, 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 Otherwise, UI and POA are going to expire, and the federal government's going to be shut down. And then Nancy Pelosi says, uh, give me exactly $600 or else. Else what? <laughs> I'm shutting down your government. What, what, what else? What, you have nothing to negotiate. You have no coins to negotiate. You have no leverage in these negotiations. Nancy Pelosi is going to need a wake-up call very quickly. Now, Janet Yellen is perhaps that wake-up call, and she's getting introduced pres pres presumptively on Monday, she's the Treasury Secretary appointee for Joe Biden. She's an economist. She's not a she's not a you know uh, school teacher or a you know uh, a, a, a a a person who just pushes social agendas. She's an economist. And as an economist, she understands that this economy needs stimulus right now. You can't keep on holding it out. And ultimately, she may be Nancy Pelosi's worst nightmare because she may be the person that says, no, you can't. You have to take something. You have to take $400 a week for FPUC. You have to take UI and PUA extended. You can't hold out for an additional $150 a week. It doesn't make any sense. And this thing about all, all or not, no standalone bills or else is also not fruitful. That's what's reassuring. Uh, what do I think is going to happen? Before these three things, which are breaking today, on Friday I said, I believe that a rational congressman will extend a UI, PUA, FPUC and do another stimulus check. I don't think they're going to do it retroactively that back, that far back for FPUC. Um, and I think they're going to try to skate as far as they can on just doing a little bit of FPUC. Then the $2,400, SSI and SSDI and Social Security and Railroad Benefits. Let's get to that. Really exciting. Where is that going to come and where is that placed in here? That has nothing to do with the continuing resolution. It would never be in the continuing resolution. It can't be. Would it be in a stimulus package? I don't think it's going to be in the stimulus package either because Social Security benefits are a, are a separate problem that have plagued this country for many years. Republicans want to fix it. They've introduced bills to fix it. And then ultimately it may be in a separate Social Security bill. And I think that's where it belongs. When will it be passed? Hard to say. What are the deal provisions? All really good. Let's go over them. First, $2,400 SSI, SSDI, Social Security, Railroad Benefits, Veterans Benefits. You don't have to do anything. If you're on benefits, an additional $200 a month will land in your bank account starting from a particular day, for example, today, all the way up to December 31st. This is a COVID stimulus that goes on top of any stimulus check you would get. Then a lifetime up, uh, increase of your benefits up to 20%. So if you're making $1,000 a month, you would get $1,200 a month, lifetime. Third, a new benchmark. A benchmark, a benchmark is used every year to look and see whether your benefits should be increased that next year. And that benchmark they've been using is COLA, which doesn't move. It's flat. So as milk and eggs and things go up and price more and more, COLA stays flat. And so suddenly you're seeing things go up and you're like, I should be paid more. No, COLA is flat. So what Biden wants to do is use a new indicator that goes up as the price of other goods goes up. All really good news. Then let's turn to money right now. This is money that you are qualified to get right now. And what's important to understand is, the, is that the success of this channel is the success of you, the viewers. I give you the information, you push, and you get it. You have to push, and you have to get it. Ultimately, saying, can someone just go do this for me is not pushing, and you're not going to get it. I've made it, I've now realized that the community page of this channel actually has a clear address. It's YouTube dot com forward slash LA late forward slash community. Again, youtube.com forward slash LA late forward slash community. On there is no less than 
eight volunteers, and I think we're approaching nine volunteers, who are here to help you if you've looked and you can't find it. I had someone say, uh, but all the volunteers are on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. I don't use social media. Well, I, you know, it's just sort of like uh, you're using YouTube. You could certainly use Instagram. And my favorite is when they say, I'm not using social media. And then they send you a message on Facebook. <laughs> Dude, contacting me on Facebook. What do you mean you don't use social media? That is it, social media. Uh, so they, some, are all, some of the volunteers are on Instagram, some are on YouTube. Uh, some of them are on Twitter and some are on uh, Instagram. Uh, let me go over the money you qualify for. First Cares Act 1 money. This is the big money. This is the money that all of you qualify for. And I don't think I have to explain what it is anymore because I think everyone understands it. What's important to understand is you start with rent, then you go to utilities, and then you go to food, and then you go to medicine. I had someone today say, can I have some money to fix my truck? There's no stimulus. There's no There's no stimulus to fix your truck. Can I have some stimulus to, um, to go buy a house? There's no stimulus to go buy a house. Uh, this is for rent, for utilities, and for food. Uh, how do you get it? City Hall, County Hall, State Housing Authority. City Hall, County Hall, State Housing Authority. Next, you find it online on their official website or you call them on the phone. Third, utility companies. They have the utility grants. You call your all your utility companies. Somewhat, I, I don't know anything about heating oil because I'm an LA kid. All we talk about out here is baby oil. Uh, but apparently, I keep on hearing wonderful stories about one company that's giving grants for heating oil to viewers. So congratulations to all of you who are getting big grants for heating oil. Apparently it's a lot of you. Um, next, so the utility companies have the utilities uh, grants. The words, the words are basically COVID grants. And now you understand to use very basic words, rental assistance, rental help, utility assistance, food help. Food assistance. You know, I have a lot of people who go to utilities and get the utility grant, but then never look for the food. Look for the food also, because there's a lot of money out there for food. Um, there is no shortage of utility grants, and there's no shortage of food grants. Next, what's important to understand is that if you, if you cannot find it in your city or county, and it perhaps may not exist, for example, Houston, uh, the volunteers and myself know that there are certain private charities that are helping pay for rent. I'm just not going to say them in the recordings, but they know them and I know them as well. And those private charities, thank you and God bless for helping viewers across this country. Uh, next, Escalade Benefits. Someone said, how do I contact my unemployment department. You know where your unemployment department is because they're sending you checks for unemployment. Uh, the unemployment website is where you signed up for unemployment assistance. The unemployment phone number is the one that you call and certify for your benefits on a weekly basis. Ultimately, if you're getting unemployment, you qualify for Escalade benefits. If you're not on unemployment, you don't qualify for Escalade benefits. I assume that's sort of obvious, but maybe it's not. Escalade benefits is so simple. Pull your 2019 taxes or you have to declare taxes. I have, I, I'm getting more and more viewers say, I don't, I did not pay taxes in 2019. This doesn't qualify for you. You have to pay taxes. I just, yeah. And I'm seeing people that, you know, made $20,000 Uber, or no, $10,000 Uber and Lyft and say, I didn't pay taxes on it. Well, <laughs> there's a reason why you follow the law, isn't there? Uh, so you pull your 2019 tax return and you and you write them a nice simple letter saying hi i'm i'm being paid you know 150 dollars a week for unemployment benefits since february because of the pandemic please look at my 2019 tax return i made on there thirty one thousand dollars last year see please see if i qualify for additional weekly benefits or more weekly benefits very very simple words this is for people who made $18,000 or more in 2019. Again, $18,000 or more in 2019. If you made $30,000 or more, you will get about a $10,000 retroactive payment in your account. They are right now. If you made over $25,000, you will get about $3,000. And if you made one, th and if you made. Um, $18,000, you get about $1,500 retroactive bam right in your account. Next, EIDL. I will cover EIDL more in the video right after this on purple. Then following that is Becoming a Mitch. And I will go over more about what this breaking development is saying about Mitch McConnell and the negotiations for a second stimulus check. It's details you're only going to see on this channel. So please stay with me on Being a Mitch in 30 minutes and from now 
and purple coming up right next. As always, stay informed, stay smiling, and stay on that life for more.